What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. The fight that shocked the world 2.0. The upset of the year. Somebody's old had to go. The takeover got taken over. I can't believe it. Tiafimo Lopez losing the 13-1 underdog, George Cambosis. Nobody saw this coming. The odds makers, the experts, myself included, no other fighters or coaches that I'd seen or spoken to, they all had Tiafimo winning easy. But this is why we love boxing. You never know what can happen. So, the game plan was what? Knock him out in the first round. That's all I kept hearing before the fight. I'm going to knock him out in the first round. Anything could happen. Tiafimo was capable of doing a lot of amazing things in the ring. But that was all I kept hearing. And to me, once I started looking more into Cambosis, that didn't seem like a feasible option to me. I mean, he wasn't Manny Pacquiao's sparring partner for many years for no reason. And sometimes some sparring partners wind up becoming sleepers that wind up rising to the occasion once they get their big shot at the limelight. And that's what happened on Saturday night. So, Tiafimo Lopez, maybe he was still riding too high for that Lomachenko victory combined with the layoff. Maybe he got a little complacent. Nonetheless, he completely underestimated Cambosis. Cambosis outboxed him, controlling the, the range perfectly. His, his left hand was amazing. He had the better gas tank, which is another thing that I thought Tiafimo Lopez would have had in his, in his favor, which wasn't the case. Um, and he was countering with that right hand perfectly all night. And Tiafimo Lopez running in head first haphazardly, ran right into that right hand. And that's another thing. I noticed a lot of guys with low knockout ratios. For some reason, people also underestimate their chin. I'm like, there's no correlation. I've seen some guys that can't crack an egg, but you can't hurt them at all either. And I've also seen some guys with very low knockout ratios. Every once in a while, they just, one night, they just don't fire. Maybe it's the accuracy. Maybe it's the opponent. I don't know. But that was definitely, again, that was the case with Cambosis. Um, TFM will have some good moments in the fight. He's still a young guy. He's going to learn from this experience. I still think he's one of the top guys in that, in that weight class. Um, if he moves up, we'll see. I'm going to tell you another thing, though. TFM will... I know you're not going to want to hear this, bro, but you're going to need some better expertise in your corner because the advice was non-existent. That plan of rushing out there and knocking him out in the first round obviously backfired. And that's all right, because if you would have had a plan B or somebody that could have identified another option to you and kind of give you some guidance to kind of steer you through the situation, kind of re-engage and re-approach the situation from another angle, I think you would have done a little bit better. So I think your pops, me, man, you might have a great relationship with him. He's probably bringing a lot to the table on an emotional or support level. But I think you outgrew his knowledge and his expertise, bro. I think you got to really look around and find yourself somebody who's going to be able to bring your level of sophistication up and put you in a better position so that when you are in one of these tough fights, as you will be coming up in the near future, because you're at a fork in the road. You're either going to learn from this and upgrade or you're going to go in a downward spiral. So, and then the other thing was too, man, you know, I think your emotions got the best of you at the end of the fight, screaming that you thought you won the fight. You know, that was um, maybe just your disappointment getting the best of you. But I think once you watch the fight again, you're going to realize this guy was, he was faster and he outworked you. And some things are going to have to be adjusted if you're going to win a rematch with him. And he did offer a rematch in Australia, which I'll tell you, when you're traveling them time zones and you over there and below the equator, and damn. I've seen a lot of people take some devastating losses when you when you travel out of the, you know out of your, your comfort zone, especially that far. So I think maybe you should take a tune-up fight first and uh, get back to the drawing board and get some, some, some more experienced people in your camp, bro. As far as Cambosis, you just had the moment that Lopez had when he fought Lomachenko. Now you're on top of the world. Um, take this time off, man. Enjoy this time with your family, and make sure your next move is your best move. Because right now you're in the uh, you're in the driver's seat, balls in your court, and you can do a lot. So, again, great win for Cambosis. Great win for the boxing fans. I want to know what you guys think. You think TFM or Lopez got what it takes to come all the way to Australia and beat him in a rematch? I don't know. Let's see. Put your comments in the comment section. Till then, like, subscribe, comment, share. Go check out my Instagram. Coach.v underscore. Till the next time we out of here. Out.